Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about my holiday that I've just had. I did plan to make like a vlog of the whole thing, but I really didn't do it at all. But I've decided to do a get ready with me because we're going out somewhere a bit fancier than usual tonight. Sorry, yes. I'm going to do my makeup. Okay, so you've not really missed anything. I feel like I spent the entire holiday just eating, sleeping, swimming. Oh, I actually read a book, which is good. I read um, The Tudors by Jane Bingham and that was pretty, pretty good. I'll be able to show you later when it starts to dry, but my hair has been really crunchy at the moment. It's like actual straw. So this is the room. We've got a nice little kitchen area. We have not washed the pots. And then the fridge. Why is it so zoomed in, man? You get a little step. That's where I've hidden all of our dirty clothes. There's a mirror, all of my sheet. And then our beds, because me and Connor are destined to never sleep in the same bed while we're on holiday. Cabinet. And then lastly, the balcony. So yeah, we get quite a cute little view and it's nice and cozy. FYI, it's not usually this tidy. I cleaned it for the video. Oh, and then our toilet, um, me again. So yeah, it's just little and that is the bath mat. I don't know why it's there. Please leave, keep going. So we basically have spent the entire time at the pool but there are actually 30 rooms which can hold up to like three people in each room at most and there's only 30 sunbeds so there is not enough at all. We actually had a family come who caused a bit of a ruckus but there is a family who had uh, saved sunbed. I think they saved two and they threw four people's towels off seats. They threw our towels off onto the side and this old couple's as well. I had like a rebel moment. I was like, I'm not having this. And I like came down and I, I grabbed their towels. I folded them and I put them on the side like a true rebel. Like it'd be different if it, if it was a family and they didn't have a sunbed and they didn't leave any towels down, but they'd left towels down. It was funny though, because everybody was talking about it as if it was like some really big, serious thing that had happened, but they've gone home now, so it doesn't matter. Also at the pool, there was a very creepy man. <laughs> he was with his wife, but he'd always wear really dark black sunglasses, right? So you know, if you're a creepy old man and you want to look at women, okay, but you know, do this. Don't do this. Like I got out of the pool and he span around to watch me get out of the pool. And he used to do it to my sister and this other woman. He's just really creepy. He'd always be staring at you, always. So me and my sister were so happy when he was gone. We were in the pool and we wanted to get out, but we didn't want to get out because he was staring at us as always. And then his wife started talking to him. So we turned around and we were like, go, 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 let's go. But yeah, he didn't see us get out of the pool that day. <laughs> Uh, but the only like really interesting thing that happened in the first week was that my little brother he'd already spent most of his money but he had a little bit left and he, he leaves to go to the shop which is on the corner and when he comes back he has a watermelon that is no joke about this big it was massive at the poolside he starts punching it you know as a 12 year old boy does and i was immediately interested because watermelon tastes amazing but he took it upstairs to go and get it <laughs> And instead of getting a knife or anything, he just put it on the floor and then just punched it in the middle and it just split and it was amazing. But also like, he made quite a bit of a mess and it like splashed up my mum's bed, which she was not happy about. It was pretty funny. I definitely won't be needing anything else for breakfast, probably the entire time that we're on holiday. <laughs> And there's another bag of it upstairs. They were actually in this bag 
but it was Hacker Exploder. So most of the time we've been to the restaurant that's owned by the same people who own the hotel and they definitely put more effort into their restaurant than their hotel. Yeah, it's really nice. The people who work there are so nice. My sister's boyfriend is in love with one of the waiters. <laughs> yeah, he, he does the parmesan. Is that how you say that? Parmesan? Parmesan. parmesan. I don't, I don't think that's... The cheese. The cheese. And he like gets it on a spoon and you know like how in most places they would make you do it yourself. Well, in this place, he, he sprinkles it on for you very, very slowly. And he always stops just before the last bit and then goes, do you want the last bit? <laughs> and then he does it. But anyway, yeah, I don't like it. So I never have that experience and I'm kind of glad about it, but it's great. But yeah, I found a new love for Alfredo. I've had it like every time I've been there. We're going tomorrow because it's our last day tomorrow. <laughs> so the second week, we decided to actually try and go somewhere. We went to the nature reserve, which has been talked about by a lot of the people staying here. A lady told us that she had seen a flamingo and the man she was with also said he saw a turtle. So I went in with very high expectations and we saw absolutely nothing. Look, we're on a nature walk. Oh! We did actually see some things, but nothing worth seeing. We saw a few giant ants, which Sam was very pleased about because he loves ants. Yeah, they're humongous! What are these? The big ants. Big fucking ants. They had like a massive trail. It was going on for ages, which was pretty impressive. And then we saw quite a few crickets. Uh, that was it. I think everybody else saw a beetle, but I didn't get to see it. And at the very end, I did see a bird, but I also discovered how bad my camera quality is. But on the way back, something interesting did happen. We found there's a massive inflatable play area on the beach that was completely unwatched <laughs> the night we were passing by. It was about eight o'clock at night. Um, so it's still pretty light, but nobody was watching it. So after a bit of talking up, we decided to sneak on. So yeah, I climbed up there. I got traps. So <laughs> they have this, you know, like the floaty birds. They're very painful. Like they have a lot of sharp lining on them. The two bits that were connected, I tried to jump across both of them. And then the, well, I fell in between them both when I was jumping across them. So I fell in the middle. And as my head was like sticking out, my sister's boyfriend was like, oh my God, what do we do? Um, and I went, oh, I'm I don't know. I tried to go for the side, but they were joined together by a rope. So I was like, I'm gonna have to go under. So I go down and as I go down, the things close above my head. It was really freaky. But I swam out on the other side and I was fine, but it, it was felt very claustrophobic. After that, we climbed up on the slide, which was pretty big. <laughs> and we were gonna do like a big group slide down, but as I get up, which I don't understand how kids do, by the way, because I found it very hard to get up there. It was painful, I almost fell, and if you fall, you will cut yourself. But yeah, I finally got up, and then as we're all about to go down together, I start slipping off, so I just slid off, which made everybody else go down, and then Lucy almost landed on me. But yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Basically, the only thing that's really been happening at the moment is that everything started to go wrong. I was doing really well for like bites and stuff up to last night when I got basically eaten alive. They're so itchy. It's not real. I'm so glad I live in a country where mosquitoes are not a problem because I couldn't live. I'm very paranoid about it. Like I will bathe in bug repellent because the thought of something sucking my blood while I'm asleep makes me want to cry. Something that did happen uh, while I was asleep the other night, I went to sleep and because of the air conditioner, I keep waking up freezing to death because we've got it on too cold because of how hot it is. I woke up and I see somebody sat on the bed, not Connor, Connor's asleep next to me, I can feel him, but yeah, he sat on the bed and it, I look at the face and it looks exactly like Sam, my little brother, just like this. And it stays there for a good 10 seconds and then it just disappears when I blink. It was awful. And then after that, I was just terrified. I could see like a figure in my doorway and another figure stood by the wardrobe. And I was just freaking out. Connor was so annoyed at me because he was just like, shut up and go to sleep because I was, I was really scared. And then the next night, because I got really paranoid, I could have sworn I saw an arm reach around the bathroom because it was dark. It really freaked me out. And I'm convinced this room is haunted now, so. Would you saw a ghost? 
like this. Just as a ghost. Ooh. That's why this room's haunted. Everybody's judging me. I can feel it in my soul. <laughs> but yeah, it's haunted, definitely. My little brother also has made a friend here at the moment, and I think they're upstairs, so I need to be quiet. But um, today they went to go and ask how much it was to go on the inflatable thing that I told you about before. Uh, they disappeared for about an hour. <laughs> Me and my mum were shitting ourselves because I started getting like the worst thoughts in my mind like oh my god one of them's drowned or like been kidnapped or something and oh god but anyway yeah I'm walking I get just past the beach I'm just about to go onto the beach I see them walking out of a shop and I was like oh they're alive so that was good it's very hot very 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 hot the second I left the poolside and started walking down I was like oh my god I've made a mistake but yeah they, they were safe I'm really not messing about with eyeshadow. I've just been doing like one base color and just blending it out, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so upset that my hair's turned green because the guy who like sorts the pool out, apparently he doesn't measure anything. He just throws the chlorine in. So there is literally no hope for anybody with blonde hair because everybody's hair is turned blonde, I, green. <laughs> Your phone's on 5% by the way. I just did it and you weren't even there. Just do it, just say I'll see you at dinner. No. I'll see you at dinner. Okay, calm down. I'll be ready in five minutes, just wait. Okay? <laughs> Run away. <laughs> okay, I'm done, sorry. Okay, so it's the last night and we're just packing now and uh, it's, uh, I'm taking a break, it's, it's um, really hard. <laughs> okay, so I didn't actually end up filming much of anything last night because I just didn't, but that doesn't mean that last night was not eventful. I was like... <laughs> Thank you. Someone put a cigarette in my bottle. Aww. See the bamboo number five. Who knows where you're freaking out because this is like a big one. It's terrible. Out in the open, lots of time. If you're indoors and you're trapped with a moth, it's most terrifying. 